the customer for the wet towel shape as we have done so here so the hair is now out of the customer's face so you can really go in for an examination so yeah, with caution should you wish to touch them or, or feel around their face or anything like that then of course be careful because this person might not have washed for a long period of time or or just doesn't care about any personal hygiene so just bear that in consideration your hands will be contaminated and then just give them a little bit of a check you know you can pretend that it's a little face massage here but really you'll be able to feel the quality of their skin if it's a lower class individual or someone you know unsavory then of course it will feel like that in your hands and you'll know whether to apply more pro should you feel in a generous mood or just try and avoid as much as possible during the shave. This both are equally good variations of what to do when you're caught up in that particular situation. Okay, so after this examination, I feel around the cheek. Then the forehead. And I look at my hands, and yeah, there could be some dirt there, so be wary. And you can tell this is an unsavory customer, which uh, you don't really want to serve, but somehow they've managed to make their way in. Though, if they've got the money to pay for your services, then here at the REG barbershop, then of course we accept all funds and donations here for the store and it all goes to the upkeep of our amazing barbershop here so we can feel somewhat obliged to give them a haircut or a wet towel shave should they want to either one of them so after that initial check there then it's time to actually perform the wet towel shave so what i'd like to do is first just to triple make sure that the customer indeed wants that because hopefully they might change their mind so and you've made them uncomfortable enough so uh, what is it I can do for you today? So, madam. I see. Uh, okay, so the customer has asked for a wet towel shave. So there's two ways of doing this. There's uh, panic and run out the shop, or you can in fact perform the wet towel shave. I will show you how to perform the wet towel shave. So what we'd like to do is a little bit of face preparation. And before we do that, we must get the gown. The gown is very important because we don't want any of them sort of falling on our lovely polished floor here. Uh, we wouldn't want that at all. And uh, yeah, so what we do, we put a gown on them first. So what is usually the best is to select the very worst of gowns that we have in the store. You'll always know which one to use. Let me go grab it. <coughs> so preferably a gown which has already been used by someone or perhaps not washed, uh, just to make them feel extra good. And what we do, we just put this around our client here, okay, and we we'll adjust it accordingly around their neck. So do that up there, do that up there, and there. And then, I mean, normal pro protocol is to ask if that is okay of the customer. You can do this, of course, um, but with these types of customers who don't really care about too much, um, their choices are always left to you at uh, the professional. So what we're going to do now is uh, check that this is all nice and covering our client here. So that has two benefits. You don't have to look at the client's clothes at all being sorted. And then we can prepare with the wet towel shape. So what I'd like to do is to wash the face first. So that means just a gentle spray of water. And bear in mind, this is probably a wash which uh, they have had uh, the for the first time in half many days. So of course, just take that in consideration. Uh, but what I'd like to do for these clients is just add a little bit of water spray on their face. Okay, so you can worry about if it goes in their eyes and just pop your hand over their eyes so it doesn't go in there. And then same again. Or you can opt for not. And her trick is to not walk 
one of the customer as well and just do it. I think that's probably the best way. So after the customer looks very hydrated, then it would be a good time to begin the invigorating massage before we prepare the lather. So this is just waking up the skin a little bit, perhaps warming it up. This is a good opportunity to make sure that the skin will be nice and warm. This will ensure a better vital shave. Of course, enable the blade to get a little bit closer on the pores of the skin. So tapping motions around the cheeks, under the chin, whilst avoiding contact as much as possible with the face. So do keep in consideration the distance you have there. Um, this is very important because you don't want to make sure uh, you don't want to brush past them or anything like that or your face to be contaminated when you touch them. You don't want any form of in intimacy there whatsoever. Okay, so it'll be a little massage around the face here, above the upper lip there, perhaps a little bit on the forehead just to make them feel like they're being pampered and then going down under the chin and then just over the lip there as well. This is very important for the shave and you will find this has great benefits for when you're actually doing the wet towel shave. So motions of coming up like that and then pushing back down and coming back up and pushing back down, coming back up, pushing back down and then coming back up, pushing back down. So once you feel like the skin is invigorated, then it would be a good time to prepare the lava. You can offer to wipe the face here, which sometimes the customer, dependent on how rude they are, will complain about water being all over their face. I mean, that's left to your uh, integrity to decide what to do in that certain scenario. But here at the barber shop, when we do a wet towel shave, we like to perform the very best of wet towel shaves, no matter who it is, because remember, these these people you never know might bump into the uh, normal folk we attract here in the barber shop. So if that comes in conversation, then obviously we want all of the customers to see how good of a shave they've had, um, not uh, to see a bad shave, and of course, think that uh, we indeed uh, take these sorts of people in as customers. Okay. So for a wet towel shoe, one of the important aspects of doing that is in fact warming up the face with a warm towel before we begin. This along with the massage is really going to open up all of their pores. So what do we do with that? We have our steaming hot here. Okay, and you can always tell if it's too hot and touch, just lift up your arm, place it on your elbow there. If it isn't too hot, then that means it's perfect to put on our client. So what we do, bear in mind they would normally be leaning back for this, is literally placing the towel over the client here, over the client here, wrapping it around the head, and then holding it there, allowing the wet towel to completely open up all of their pores. If you massage, not only does it speed up the process, but also it helps with the shave and makes the shaving a quicker and closer experience. So hold that there. Take into consideration you can cover all of their face and leave a little bit here for them to be able to breathe fine. This will be a very hot towel, so they will need some sort of cooling sensation there. Okay, so once that's been on there long enough, then it is indeed time to prepare the lather and begin the wet towel shave. I mean, let's pop that back on because this would be something you would do once you're preparing the lather for the wet towel shave. Okay, well, we'll just leave that there. Right, so if there's two options for doing this. You can opt in for gloves there as well. If you use gloves, then you can use it throughout the whole experience if you really don't want to touch the client. Of course, 
that is left up to you to decide something which I prefer is a personal touch with fingers but gloves are always advice for inexperienced barbers who don't entirely trust their clients so the uh, gloves will always be here in the drawer over here okay so the next thing would be finding an appropriate lather for the clients so we have different types here and for different customers you know that there's certain things when you have perhaps Lord Farquhar in then these would be the appliances which you use but this is not Lord Farquhar so we have our shaving foam here you can tell the client about it a little bit about it but usually the client is in the owner as well so what I'd like to do is get some of the cream apply it in the uh, but what we want, the trick is, is that the client needs to look like you know what you're doing. So one of the things which I do is put in one of the best shaving foam creams we have, but then also make it look like you're giving them extra special ones. This is very important. So we've got the base layer for the shaving foam. Uh, but once you mix it in, just get the shaving foam uh, just the cheapest one that you can find and just place it in there uh, so this ensures that you don't waste all of the good stuff on all of the, the customers okay so just run through that quickly so we've got some shaving foam here which i'd like to use in you this is from the very best and locally sourced notice the blank look on their face they won't respond because they don't know what you're talking about okay so we're going to use the very best shaving foam on you here okay. please do find that relaxing and also this one as well this smells absolutely delightful if you'd like to smell that there notice that there is a very blank look on their face this can be common and these sorts of individuals okay yeah so yeah that's a really nice smell they don't care too much they're sort of dazed and and looking in the wilderness somewhere so then that's the opportunity to quickly once you're behind them take out the foam and fill up the pot there if you spill it on the client which i could have done there then don't worry about it it all looks like it's part of the experience so now we have our foam here next thing to do is to relax the client a little bit so we take our brush and we mix up say for a couple of minutes straight this is also a great opportunity to really intimidate the client if they don't know what you're doing so once you hold this you make sure you do it as fast as you can and yeah, that, yeah. perhaps give them a very focused stare you want to make 
make sure it's all nice and a little lathered up. Now there's two techniques to do this. You can opt in for the quickest way possible, so it literally places on the client, maybe come in contact with their head because they could be inclined to move some of them. They feel like this is a brand new experience for them, so just make sure that they, they can't move there whilst you perform your skillful work and get as much lather as needed. Make sure you have the perfect amount as well because you don't want to waste any, so that's what exactly what we've got. I'm sorry, sir. invite the client to close them out. Just make sure that you can lather up everywhere all over and you don't miss any spots there whatsoever. And the other technique is obviously take the brush out a little bit like that. You can place it by hand underneath, okay, above the lip or you can pinch it like that and then just dab. You can follow that technique as well all over the client. whiskies over there, or a gift from Lord Farquhar is 20 years old of course, and we also have 100 years old, can't tempt you to, no, oh, that's a pity, so then it will be a great opportunity to begin with the shape, so you can use the standard razors, um, they have different variations, uh, make sure you always add a new blade in there for the client as well, so you make sure that that client feels like everything is made perfect for them and then it will be a case of beginning the shave itself. So what I'd like to do here is you can keep the towel on there and put all the excess on there. Or sometimes it's better just to hold your own towel there. So you can begin with the shaving process. If the hairs are on, around their face at this point I shouldn't really worry about it. It's not of any concern. Which you can use to ensure a real 
one time only shave so you don't need to do any more is hold the skin back like that and shave hold the skin and shave really pull it out so that makes sure you get the closest shave there and all the hairs there possible but of course that would be quite an executive shave so when it comes to the chin it would be upward and motions here maybe hold the client in a bit of a headlock there to ensure they don't move because you know these people are somewhat temperamental by nature so you just never know so it's good to make sure you've got them in a good headlock there go underneath on the neck there just to get the excess stubble which you may encounter which would be great okay upward motions of course when you are doing the neck and of course being very very careful given extra attention and one of the things the clients don't like posh or not so posh is they don't like blades being waved around their face so always keep the blade nice and out of sight as possible and you want to make sure that this client does feel like you're paying a lot of attention and personal attention to them so even though you've got them in a headlock they think of course they're being pampered but really you're doing two things keeping you the, the barber safe and of course making sure that you can have a one-time only shave so if they don't move you don't miss all those hairs okay so that's looking good then it would be a case of going on the other side there as well and then performing the same sort of shave then so the client has got very unkept way free hair here so try and move it out the way as much as possible okay so you can opt in for the headlock technique again or perhaps if you need your hands to move the skin back So it would be the same thing again. Headlock underneath. client or you might not they might be asleep uh, so feel free to wake them up hey, you there wake up or perhaps you would like to just close their lip there and, uh, and make sure that whilst you go there they know to keep their mouth shut Should they, you know, close their mouth or put in their lips thinking they're offering some sort of assistance? That, of course, is one of the biggest insults for a barber. So make sure you let them know about it. I beg your pardon, sir, but I do not need your help to help me shave. Thank you so much. So you always make sure that you 
you treat them with a with a air of superiority at all times. That's very important here in this barbershop. Okay, so that's all looking good. You've followed the, the grain of the wood, so to speak. You have gone through and pulled the skin out and ensured that you get as close as possible. Put a new blade, you've done all under their cheek there. You've done under their neck. A good way to check how much you've done, of course, is to, in fact, feel around their skin. I know it can be unwanted, but this is a good way to feel if there are any miscellaneous hairs that you may have potentially missed out, which invariably wouldn't be the case at all. But to me, that's feeling good. Okay, so don't worry if your fingers go with a face or anything like that, that's all fine. Okay, and that's really good. So it's a great time just to really sort of massage the ribbons of the foam and it does have good properties to it as well. Okay. And then perhaps with your dirty used towel, you can just wipe the excess off their face there. In the case it might have been in the area, don't worry about it too much really. It's I don't think the client would care that much. Okay, so you can keep your client in a bit of a headlock again to ensure they don't move. This is to make sure that you don't miss anywhere on their face. You might have got a little bit around the top of the head there. I mean, the crevice is just get rid of it as best you can. It's not entirely important this bit because really you're probably making an improvement on the client. Okay, so let's pop that in there. That's all clean. Just check the Clients looking to fry, okay, that's fine. Okay, so it's time to take the wet towel there. Once again, you can check it. It feels exceptionally hot, it's really hot and uncomfortable feeling, so that's perfect for our clients. So usually when they lie down, you wrap it up like this, over the head, and then perhaps a little bit uh, that you bring back over on the void there. Here, I'm just for the purposes of this instructional video is to show you that we just keep it on the skin, keep it here yeah, nice and warm. This is ensuring that the, the client really is feeling like their skin is evolving into something which would be more acceptable here in society in this area. So this is like a transformation process. We've done the shave, they're feeling great. And now the hot towel really does make the person feel like they're being pampered completely in this particular experience for them. Okay, so you can hold it there as long as possible. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, okay. And they look like they're really enjoying it. Take it off, take it off. Okay, so this would be a last opportunity to get a little massage to the face. So we want to use cooling agents to cool down the pores in the face, really cool down the client. So a little bit of water on the client, okay? A little bit of water on the face, there we go. That'd be a good opportunity to, in fact, wake them up a little bit, okay? So before we use our freezing cold down there, we can just massage a little bit. This really notice the skin sort of becoming shiny and, and nice. This is good, that means you've done your job and that's doing good on the skin. And then we shall pop on a freezing cold towel for the client. Okay, so pop that there. Okay, around on the client and we cover the client up as much as possible here. Okay, there we go. And then just massage around, let the cooling properties do wonders for the skin. Yeah, okay. The client might feel like, what the hell is going on? Of course they would feel something like this because they've never experienced something as professional and upper class as a wet towel shave, especially in this area and especially in this barbershop. One of the things to remember too is that you could be expecting 
important to Clive, so even Lord Farquhar, at any moment, keep an ear out for horse and carts and things of that nature, just to make sure you've got enough time to throw out this customer and uh, disinfect all of the, the area that might come in contact when Lord Farquhar walks through or something like that. Okay, so I think that's long enough here, yeah, and that's enabled all the pores to close down. You could tell that the immediate shininess has has come off as much as possible there. If you think there's any other residual bits then and of course just go around with this towel. It's very cooling and soothing for the client at this point. Okay, and same again around here. If there's anything you feel like you've missed, I don't know. Just give it a good old clean rest. This is probably a, an important wash which they've uh, not had in quite some time. Right, and then there really is one thing left. You can offer two things. You can pop in some powder uh, to soften up and soothe the skin. You can offer for a little bit of cologne as well. It'd be very refreshing for the client. But we usually reserve this for important clients, so it's important to make the client believe that they have the option. So, would you like some cologne there? Okay. And what can I get you? A bit of rum, whiskey. Spice. Yeah, oh, okay. okay. So make it look like you've put a little bit of cologne on there, but really, in fact, you haven't. Okay. So, uh, can I help you with anything else, sir? No? That's great. Uh, you have, of course, got a lot of mess on your clothes there. But, for some sort of self-gratification, uh, it is always good to ask the client uh, how do they feel, because, of course, they're going to feel absolutely excellent and brilliant and like they've had the best shave in the world. So, how was that for you? So be prepared, they, they might have that long distance stare, so just be prepared, be prepared for um, no answers there. They are rude enough to do that. That's great. Okay, so this would be a time to put the hair back into how it was. Our client is nicely clean shaven, they're looking fresh, everything is looking like they've actually looked after themselves, and that's the kind of experience you want to give to all customers here in the barber shop. A real first class experience, you no know, matter where they come from, of course, because you wouldn't have a choice once they're sitting there in your seat. So we try to treat them like all of our customers as much as possible. So perhaps just give them a little bit of a hairbrush. We wouldn't want anyone in this area to see them walking out this shop if they're not looking like they've been well looked after. Okay. So round we go here and round we go here. That's that's really great there, okay, right, and then it's a good opportunity for you to just fill your work there, should you wish, you know, it just makes you feel good, yeah, looking good, you can tell the client internally, probably doesn't know what's going on, but visually, I think they would be impressed at this point, we're feeling fresh and great, I think the client is looking really good, and that, of course, is where we complete the wet owl shave for individuals such as this. So you can bid the client farewell. Uh, usually Lord Farquhar turns up at this point uh, just because it's just bad timing all the time with these types of people when they come announce and unbook. So do be prepared for situations like that. That is an inev inevitability sometimes with these clients. You can see that they are indeed uh, happy with the shave and the fact that they've 
been um, in such an establishment like this and experienced a very first class wet towel shave or haircut or anything like that but just be careful with these clients because these clients can in fact trick you okay you, they give off this persona this bad aura and of course you have to deal with it as you as you think is best uh, once you're performing a wet towel shave or haircut or anything like that and clients such as this so i hope that this instructional video and orientation for wet towel shaves for individuals such as this was useful and beneficial for you do practice all of your techniques for the perfect shave and haircut you have been welcomed here at this barber shop and we'd like to keep something very upper class about this place and do the very best we can possibly do for all of our clients to ensure relaxation perfect shave and a perfect haircut and feel like you've been fully entirely groomed in the most first class special professional way possible so i welcome you to our barber shop we hope you enjoy your working time here and enjoy all of the luxuries that it has to offer in an area such as this we i'm sure i have one very happy client here at the moment so do relish in the fact that you have just performed an absolute miracle on someone who you thought you could not so make sure that you my goodness that's a little far gone my goodness we must get prepared take care of yourself Drew.